People should listen to music for no more than one hour a day to protect their hearing, the World Health Organization suggests. It says 1.1 billion teenagers and young adults are at risk of permanently damaging their hearing by listening to too much, too loudly. It said audio players, concerts and bars were posing a serious threat. WHO figures show 43 million people ages 12 to 35 have hearing loss and the prevalence is increasing. In that age group, the WHO said, half of people in rich and middle-income countries were exposed to unsafe sound levels from personal audio devices. Meanwhile 40% were exposed to damaging levels of sound from clubs and bars. The proportion of U.S. teenagers with hearing loss went from 3.5% in 1994 to 5.3% in 2006. Dr. Adrian Krug, the WHO's Director for Injury Prevention, told the BBC, What we're trying to do is raise awareness of an issue that is not talked about enough, but has the potential to do a lot of damage that can be easily prevented. He said an hour a day was a good ambition. That's a rough recommendation. It is not by the minute, to give an idea to those spending 10 hours a day listening to an MP3 player. But even an hour can be too much if the volume is too loud. Line safe listening levels. The louder the noise measured in decibels the faster it damages the ear. The whose safe listening times are 85 decibels, the level of noise inside the car, 8 hours 90 decibels, lawn mower, 2 hours 30 minutes 95 decibels, an average motorcycle, 47 minutes 100 decibels, car horn or underground train, 15 minutes 105 decibels, MP3 player at maximum, volume, for minutes 115 decibels, loud rock concert, 28 seconds 120 decibels, the views of sirens, 9 seconds line the World Health Organization recommends keeping the volume to 60% of the maximum as a good rule of thumb. For people trying to drown out the noise of flying or train journeys, it says noise-canceling headphones allow music to be heard clearly at a lower volume. And the WHO adds that earplugs should be worn at noisy venues and advises taking listening breaks and standing far away from speakers at gigs. But what is the point of a concert if you are going to avoid the music? We do realize this is a bit of a struggle, like alcohol consumption. So many risk factors linked to pleasure are not easy to change, but we have to make people aware, Dr. Krug said. But as well as calling for personal responsibility, the WHO says governments and manufacturers have a responsibility. It says clubs should provide chill-out rooms and give out free earplugs, headphone manufacturers should set limits on the volume, and governments need to adopt stricter laws. Paul Breckel, the chief executive of the charity Action on Hearing Loss said, when listening to loud music, for every 3 decibel increase in level, to stay safe you should have your listening time. For example, at 88 decibels, safe allowable exposure is cut to 4 hours, at 91 decibels, 2 hours and so on. I urge music lovers to consider the long-term risks of listening to loud music from their personal music players over the 85 decibels safe level, as overexposure can't trigger tinnitus and remember that a good pair of noise-canceling headphones can make all the difference.